Ladies and gentlemen, um, Paul Zebar, Superintendent Gold Coast Police. Um, on the weekend, Gold Coast Police have been uh, very active doing our street-based operations, our high visibility early intervention, particularly in the Drink Safe precinct in Surface Paradise, and also our Operation Victoria, which we run out of uh, the Broadbeach CBD. Uh, as well, on Saturday night, we ran our Operation Ember, which is a joint operation with the State Traffic uh, Task Force and the Random Drug Testing Unit. That operation was particularly successful. We had 32 charges, uh, preferred against 27 persons. Um, one person was located with uh, a small amount of what was alleged to be cocaine, another person with a small amount of amphetamine. And of course, Operation em Ember uh, was a joint passive drug dog and uh, random drug testing State Traffic Task Force operation. But the focus of it was to also reduce the, uh, the consequences, if you like, of alcohol and drug-related uh, drug uh, violence and harm on the Gold Coast. So that operation was particularly successful and, of course, that ran on the back of our Drink Safe Precinct uh, operation in Surface and our uh, Operation Victoria in Broadbeach. Now, as you'll know, we had... Uh, the Titans versus Cowboys Friday night and of course the Suns uh, and uh, Collingwood. Now both of those games were particularly well attended. We had uh, around 17,000 at the Titans game and around 23,000 at the Suns game. Those people of course all went into Surface Paradise of Broadbeach afterwards and our police uh, had a major operation there as we normally do on the weekends with some uh, outstanding results as well. Now, if you just bear with me for a moment uh, I might actually go to those for you. Right, uh, on Friday night in the Drink Safe Precinct of Surface Paradise, we had 24 arrests. Uh, of those, there were 28 charges. Um, particularly, uh, particularly well attended uh, in the CBD and Surface Paradise on, on Friday night. Saturday night, similarly, uh, we had 23 arrests in the Drink Safe Precinct and Surface Paradise, uh, 11 arrests in Broad Beach area, plus a number of tickets, street checks, and so forth. Uh, the Drink Safe Precinct operation, of course, is supported by uh, the Public Safety Response Team as well from Brisbane. Over the weekend as well, we had an arrest for the uh, armed robbery of the uh, 7-Eleven at Scarborough Street, Southport. A 21-year-old man from Wynnum uh, is alleged to have uh, confronted the straw attendant with a firearm. And uh, he's arrested and charged on Saturday. We're appearing before the Southport Magistrates Court this morning. I might also mention... Uh, Operation Agnitio, which we ran last week, which was our joint uh, traffic-based operation using resources from the State Traffic Task Force from Brisbane, uh, using the automatic number plate recognition technology. We actually placed that operation in strategic uh, crime, -like crime areas. We've used Intel to work out where we've had other property-related crimes, uh, Broad Beach, um, Southport in particular. And in that operation, um, it, it was uh, designed to detect... Uh, obviously uh, unregistered and unlicensed drivers. However, we placed all those police resources in strategic high-crime locations to make sure that the intelligence we drew from that operation uh, would help us form our picture for where breaking in as another property crime was being performed. Now, Operation Ignitio was a particularly uh, uh, successful operation. We had 20 persons arrested on uh, 19, uh, 29 charges. That's 20 persons on 29 charges. A number of those were criminal offences. There were a number of traffic tickets written, a number of RBTs, and I'll just go through the figures there for you. So we had 20 offenders on 29 charges, including stealing, fraud, drugs and weapons charges. Uh, we wrote 128 tickets over that three-day operation. We did 2,148 random breath tests and a total of 64 street checks. And they're the activity reports that police submit when they find a person of interest who may be uh, perhaps a suspect or potentially a perpetrator of crime. So Operation Ignatio uh, is a prime example of where we've used uh, a traffic road safety focused operation but overlaid it with criminal intelligence to put it in strategic areas to gather more intelligence and arrest perpetrators of crime and clearly uh, based on the arrests we made during their operation um, it, it, was, uh, it was successful. A number of those charges included drug possession, fraud, uh, possession of a weapon, possession of a restricted item and uh, possession of drugs and, uh, and also offender wanted on outstanding uh, crime report for uh, using a telecommunications device to harass. I'd like to also just to uh, 
point out our regular operation Unison, which we run with our colleagues from Tweed Heads, which is also a CBD-based operation in Coolangatta and Tweed Heads. In that operation, we had eight police uh, in doing high visibility and early intervention policing strategies in the, the Coolangatta and Tweed Heads CBD, and it was pleasing to see that we had... Um, uh, only a small number of arrests, but the high visibility uh, is the key to keeping uh, crime down. So we had three arrests on four charges, uh, including possession of a dangerous drug, drink driving and unlicensed driving. Uh, 300 RBTs were performed down there in that area, uh, as well as a number of searches and activity report cards. So with all of our operations um, over the weekend, um, in response to the, the uh, entertainment precincts, if you like, of Surface Paradise, Broad Beach and Coolangatta. We've had high visibility, we've had assistance from our colleagues in Brisbane and uh, we've had some successes there which is uh, great to see the ongoing successes with the passive drug detection dogs. So Operation Ember uh, with the drug detection dogs at our uh, random uh, breath testing and drug detection site that complements, of course, our ongoing Operation Sentinel, which uses the, uh, the passive drug dogs as well. And we've had uh, quite a significant uh, uh, result with that operation over the last few months. And, of course, our passive drug detection dogs and our drug testing unit, it's not about um, necessarily um, getting people in possession of drugs. It's all about reducing the effects of drug and alcohol-related violence and harm on the Gold Coast. And that's in conjunction with our other criminal uh, investigative activities done by the CIB, Operation Resolve, and, of course, uh, detectives from Brisbane. Is it fair to say that these operations have been prompted by the negative sort of press that the Gold Coast is getting at the moment with, um, you know, talk, talk about um, violence and shootings? Mm. The uh, Operation Drink Safe uh, and Operation Sentinel have been ongoing operations uh, which have been going since basically the 1st of December last year. So our, our policing of public places... Excuse me. Operation Sentinel and the Drink Safe uh, Precinct operation have been going since um, 1st of December last year. Uh, we've done four passive drug dog uh, operations in Surface Paradise and Broad Beach CBDs, as well as Operation Ember on the weekend. These are ongoing strategies where we use the resources from Brisbane to help us target our, uh, our crime and disorder on the Gold Coast. And uh, it's all about working together with our colleagues from Brisbane, making sure that we send the message out there that drug and alcohol related violence and harm isn't acceptable on the Gold Coast. These are both ongoing operations and have been in place for some time and will continue to, to occur. Are they, um, I guess, reasonable sort of figures, particularly Saturday night with those two uh, big football games on? What we've found with our drink safe... with it, well, the, the question is... Um, uh, how are those figures comparing to, to our normal uh, Friday and Saturday night? Whilst our police have been busy in the entertainment precincts on the Gold Coast over the weekend, uh, it's pleasing to see that the, uh, the number of arrests aren't extraordinarily um, higher than you would find normally, and that's uh, interesting considering the larger crowds from the football. Uh, the Drink Safe Precinct, of course, in Surface Paradise has been... Uh, subject of high visibility and early intervention policing since the 1st of December. Every weekend on the Gold Coast here in Surface Paradise is a little bit like schoolies now. The police are in reflectorised vests. They're walking in and out of clubs. We're doing compliance checks. We're working with our colleagues from Liquor Licensing and Fair Trading, as well as the Fire Service and the local council. We have a steering committee uh, which drives those, those activities, and they've been um, working well since the 1st of December. And in, in most of the crime categories, the Surface Paradise CBD is actually experiencing a, um, a significant downturn in crime. And what I've noticed talking to the traders there in Surface Paradise and uh, the local people is that they're particularly happy with the way the Drink Safe Precinct's going. The uh, nightclub uh, association are also happy with the way we're getting the passive drug dog dogs in there regularly. And that operation's going to be ongoing and um, we're very pleased with the results. And of course, there's no doubt that Surface Paradise Police, Broad Beach Police and Coolagatta Police are working tirelessly um, on policing public order, making the streets safe in those areas. Uh, I'm very pleased and very proud of the results they've been bringing in. And, of course, uh, I'm quite pleased and, uh, and, and I'm very proud of the results that the CIB, in conjunction with their colleagues from State Crime Operations Command, have brought in over the weekend uh, with the arrest uh, for the alleged murder. Um, there's been a few calls for um, zero-tolerance type strategies on, on the coast. Um, do, do you think it would work? And 
something the police are considering? It, it's interesting that the term zero tolerance is uh, getting a bit of popularity in the media and um, what I'd like to point out is that uh, Gold Coast Police are particularly good at high visibility and early intervention strategies um, and we've got no tolerance for people that do break the law. We arrest them, put them before the courts. Uh, what I will point out though is that um, zero tolerance is, is not just about the police having zero tolerance, it's also about the community and I think in recent times we've seen the community put their hand up and say no, um, we're not going to um, uh, stand for violence, we're not going to stand for disorder and they're working closely with us and that's closely um, aligned to the results we're getting in Surface Paradise with the steering committee there, the business people, the local community are working with us. We had the Turning Point Seminar on the Gold Coast last week which was also well attended and I was very pleased to hear that most of the delegates there were very proud of their local police as I am and indeed uh, see that uh, zero tolerance whilst it's a term that's uh, bandied around Really, that's uh, what we're doing on the Gold Coast and have been doing for some time. That's great. That's great.